this is the Nomadic X300. It's a projector that I've had my eye on for quite a while and although this has been released a while back, I was really interested in reviewing this purely because of the design. This makes it seem like, for me personally, one of the most beautifully designed projectors I've seen in a very long time. A lot of the projectors that you see nowadays will actually look like a projector. This one specifically will look more like a very high quality premium high based Bluetooth speaker which actually has a functionality of being a projector as well. I'll showcase to you guys what I mean. Let's go ahead and open and take everything out of the box. So you have a little accessories box here, USB-C to USB-C cable, you have your power adapter, the power plug, a very high quality gold plated auxiliary cable for your audio output, remote control. This has a very nice design where you've got a little colored ring around the menu buttons there. So you've got the power button, focus button, menu, plus and minus for the volumes, play and pause, and a mute button there. It comes with two AAA batteries inside the box, like so. This is pretty cool. You have a very nicely designed nomadic cleaning brush. So if you wanted to clean any part of the projector, this is a very portable wireless projector and it is built for outdoors as well. So in case you do get any dirt on it, it'll be very easy to clean with a brush like this. You have a quick start guide and some warranty information there. A microfiber cleaning cloth. These are some very nice high quality looking premium rose gold legs for the projector that you can also attach as a separate thing. And finally, this is the projector itself. And let's dive in a little bit more with the design because this is the one thing that stands out more to me than any of the many projectors I've reviewed in the past. Now the design of this, I can't say I've seen any other projector that has such a beautiful design like this because by looking at it, this does not look like a projector at all. This looks like a very powerful premium Bluetooth speaker that you can see you've got an entire mesh there at the front. It comes in this kind of darker military green and rose gold kind of color combination. But the main thing you'll notice is that you can't see the LED lamp where you can project your actual content from. And I'll show you where that is and you guys may already know. But looking at the top, you have a few buttons here. Let's just take a look at that. For me, I'm a big fan of having knobs like this to control various different things. I think it's a lot easier and quicker than having physical or touch capacitive buttons. You have here the play and pause that you can press for the first one. Volume control as well to turn that around. Two additional knobs to control various different things, which I'll showcase when I set this up. You have yourself the focus lever that you can gently press up and down as well. Bluetooth button, auxiliary button, and then a mute button as well. And on the front, you'll see in rose gold that the sound produced by this is done by Harman Kardon Audio, which is a very premium audio company. So I can expect a lot of bass and a lot of good punchiness audio coming from this. Just there on the left, you have the power button, which is like an analog stick, which is very nice. You just switch it to the left to turn it on. Micro SD card if you wanted to play content from there. You have your auxiliary port, the audio out, USB, HDMI, USB-C port as well, which you can actually not only power the device, but actually get some additional power by using a power bank to power this if you are outdoors and you want to use the wireless internal battery capacity on this. Then you have your DC input there as well. At the bottom, this is where you'll see you have those three rubber black legs here, but you can actually unscrew these off and replace them with the gold ones that I showed you that came in the box. Those are made more if you wanted to set this up more in a permanent position inside your home. But if you are going to take this outdoors, and I will take this outdoors to showcase the quality of this, then it's better to leave these rubber black ones in place in case you wanted to maybe place it on the grass or on a floor so it doesn't make anything else a little bit more dirty. And then finally, to actually get the projector to play, you lift up this little lid at the front with the Nomadic logo, and you'll see the little LED lamp inside there is used to reflect on the mirror that's inside here onto your screen or your wall. This is quite a unique way to actually reflect and play content because you can actually reposition the angle of your projection by moving this up and down. In fact, if you open this fully, the LED lamp will just point upwards and you can actually play something on your ceiling if you place this down on your bed. Now, before we go ahead and set this up, some of the key specifications to highlight to you. This is actually 1080p native and it does upscale to 4K. It does have 300 ANSI lumens of brightness and it has dual 16 watt speakers using Harman Kardon audio. 
This has a 10,000 milliamp hour battery, which allows up to six hours of audio playback if you use this as a Bluetooth speaker, but it also gives you three hours of video playback if you use it as a projector. But like I mentioned, you can also extend that life if you do connect this to a power bank, if you wanted to really utilize the wireless capability of this. And lastly, it does have inbuilt custom OS that allows you to stream your favorite streaming apps like Netflix and so on. I've got the projector set up here. Now, I just wanted to mention that although I do have it on a tripod, this projector doesn't require a tripod. It can actually sit comfortably on the floor and you can angle it pretty much as high as you want with this little mirror, which I think is quite nice as well. So you don't need to go out and buy a separate tripod for it. You can place it even on a desk or a table, wherever you like, and it works perfectly fine. I'm going to now turn it on and run it purely off of the internal battery. Just going to use the switch. I've opened up the lamp and I've positioned the mirror. Let's go ahead and turn this switch on. This is actually a very quiet projector. To be honest, it's one of the quietest projectors that I've used and have seen in all of my projector reviews. I can barely hear anything coming from this, but even on top of that, the audio quality from the Bluetooth speaker, as you can hear, it's going to be loud enough to drown out any type of noise you'll hear from the fan internally of this projector. Okay, so this doesn't have Android TV. They have their own custom OS, which does have a set of applications, which I'll go through. Just on the top right hand side of the screen, you can see the battery life to see how much battery maybe is remaining on the projector. So you have a HDMI source here on the left, you can go down to USB-C, connects like a USB-C external SSD hard drive, for example, but this also doubles up as a input power port if you wanted to maybe power this using the USB-C input. You have local inbuilt storage as well. You can actually connect through a USB and micro SD. You can manage all of the files with any of those connections through file management. You also have App Center, which I'll showcase in a second. Let's have a look at settings. So here you can connect to your network settings, change the date and time. You have basic settings, so you can actually switch between the projector projection. If you go into here, you can switch between front table, which is what I have it set at. You can actually go to rear table, front ceiling and rear ceiling. So if you did want to mount this on the ceiling, you have that option available. You can do vertical and horizontal keystone correction from here but the keystone correction can also be done with the two knobs that I was showcasing at the beginning of this video in the design of the projector. Let me just show you a quick demo of doing that. So you have the horizontal and vertical keystone correction knobs on the projector itself. If I twist this, you'll see just on the bottom right, the horizontal keystone is happening. I can twist that back. I'll set it back to zero. And then the same with the vertical one, like so. It's a quick and nice way to get the keystone correction sorted. And then you also have the focus slider, which you just press upwards. It brings the focus and you can change it up and down until you get the perfect focus of your screen. Then you also have some advanced settings. You can do a firmware upgrade and see information about the projector as well, like the serial number, etc. You also have the option to screen mirror. So if you have an iPhone or an Android phone, you can also screen mirror quite easily by following these steps. I've also screen mirrored with my iPhone. It was very quick and easy and it was done the very first time. I had no problems doing it. And then you can also connect to Bluetooth. So you can connect your phone and play music using the Bluetooth speaker and go into speaker mode but you can also connect other devices, headphones, etc. If you wanted to connect this to any external HDMI source to stream all your favorite content and apps, you can do something like this as well. So if you have an Amazon Fire Stick or use something like what I have, which is an Apple TV, you can just simply connect it to the HDMI port and then connect all of your streaming apps that you'd like to watch content on. So that's everything I wanted to showcase from the OS point of view. Now let's go ahead and see how this sounds and how it plays back the video and the quality by playing some demo videos from YouTube. Okay, I've darkened the room and now I'm going to play a couple of demo videos with you from YouTube. 
I just wanted to point out how I actually see this in person and how I actually hear the audio in person might be slightly different to how you hear and see the video depending on what device you're watching this on so make sure you do have some headphones as well to get an idea of how clear and how punchy the audio is coming from this projector but let's go ahead and play this sample video this will have a lot of vibrant colors in there and it will also have some audio and dialogue which will be quite important to hear how powerful the speaker actually is on the x300 so let's go ahead and hit play Now you can see how vibrant, how loud the audio was, how clear it was. There absolutely wasn't any fan noise whatsoever from the projector, which is very important for me. And I just wanted to highlight, this is only 300 ANSI lumens, but the clarity that you actually get from this 1080p video that I just played you was actually on par of being one of the most premium that I've had in a lot of my projector reviews. Now to really showcase the quality on the speaker of this projector, I'm going to play back this next demo video from Dolby Audio and it's going to be very cinematic. So hopefully you guys get an idea of how punchy this sounds, even with the volume set to only 25, which is at the halfway point from its max volume. This is Dolby Cinema. It's where the most advanced cinematic technology you've ever experienced begins. This is Dolby Atmos. The number of speakers around you no longer matters because this is the world's first object-based cinematic audio with powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with pinpoint accuracy. Whether the soundscape sets the mood of a scene. Come on, you guys, let's go. Or captures the full extent. Do you want to know my secret? <laughs> of nature's fury. Remember this? It's just the beginning of Dolby Vision. Because what you thought was black isn't. This is black. This is contrast that reveals details deeper than any image you've seen on a screen. This is luminance that means the difference between white and pure energy. Energy that is about to reveal an entire universe of color you've never experienced in the cinema.
Now the audio on this is probably one of the best audio that I've had in any projector I've reviewed and I've reviewed many many projectors in the past. Using this as just a Bluetooth speaker on its own I think is going to be really valuable for really getting the best audio experience whether you're listening to music, you just want to play back something from Spotify and I can even see myself using this during my workouts as a Bluetooth speaker in my home gym. But when it comes to watching content and having that full cinematic experience, the audio mixed with the quality of the video, which I've just played back in 1080p HDR mode, I think that combination for this X300 is a no brainer and is probably one of my favorite projectors I've used till date. Okay, now I just have the Spotify app open and I wanted to play this example audio file. This is a very high quality speaker and I just wanted to play some music with it just so you guys can hear how good this sounds with the Harman Kardon 16 watt stereo speakers built into this. Let's go ahead and play this and I'm sitting very close to the projector as well so you guys can hear very clearly how good this sounds. But please make sure to remember to wear some headphones when you are listening to this if possible and hopefully this gives you an idea of how powerful this can be. So I'm just gonna pause it there. And as you guys saw, I only went up to halfway point again on the audio. I don't dare to go to full maximum volume because this will bring the house down. That's how powerful this is. And for me, I'm amazed at the quality on this. Just knowing that if I wanted to use this as a Bluetooth speaker on its own, in addition to knowing this is also a projector that I can watch my movies on, that for me is actually worth the value of money that you can actually buy this with. Now let's go ahead and test this outdoors, see how it looks when it is darker outside in the evenings because this is very much made to be portable and to be used outdoors. So let's set this up with one of the white walls I have in my back garden and see how it performs in an outdoor setting. Okay, so now I am outdoors at nighttime. I've got the projector set up. I've got it in focus. I'm displaying it on my white wall on my garage here. So let's go ahead and play a demo video, see how this works when it's on a full wireless setup. Okay, so now I've connected a USB because I wanted to make this a demo of being a completely outdoor projector, whereby you may put some movie files, some TV shows on your USB, you would connect it, there was no cables involved whatsoever, so I don't have this plugged into any outlet. So let's go ahead and play this demo and see how clear this also looks when it's projected onto a white wall if you are going to be playing this outdoors. This looks extremely clear and high quality. One of my favorite outdoor projectors 
I can see myself enjoying this outdoors, especially in the summer nights. You can see how dark it is. And this is super bright. This is a 4K video that I've put onto the USB. And it just comes out so great. So hopefully this review was useful for you guys to see the quality of this projector, especially when you watch it either indoors and outdoors. If you did like this and you like the look of this projector and how it performs, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, I review projectors and all things tech. New videos out every week and I will catch you guys at the next one.